blue. I'm Angel. And this is Healthful Choices. I am on a mission to lose 80 pounds. And today is the 20th anniversary of the spousal unit proposing to me. January 10th is the anniversary of my husband proposing to me. A few months later, we were married and I thought, what a great opportunity to try on my wedding dress again. The spousal unit and I met at F.E. Warren Air Force Base in Cheyenne, Wyoming. I had just completed a tour in Germany. He was one of the first people that I met there. We became friends very quickly. It just grew from there. He proposed to me over the phone because he was temporarily assigned to a base in Mississippi. I remember after I said yes, he said, oh, I guess I should send you a ring. He was gonna come back, but it wasn't for a while. And I just told him, no, don't worry about it. I don't need anything fancy. That was true for a long time. I actually didn't get the bridal set that you see in most of my videos until several years into our marriage. I've been wearing the plain band that he gave me on our wedding day for a few, few weeks now. I, I've been going back and forth between this and my bridal set for a couple months now, but I've kind of consistently been wearing this for a little while now. Maybe. I'm just feeling a little sentimental. My entire life, my brother has given me a hard time about not being very sentimental. I have a tendency to not hold on to a lot of things. The things that I do hold on to have a lot of sentimental value to me. So with that in mind, I went forward with wedding plans thinking it wasn't going to be that big of a deal. Something for our families to come together, meet each other, and just celebrate our wedding. I planned our entire wedding alone, <laughs> which meant that keeping it simple would be e the easiest way to accomplish the endeavor. I didn't really set a budget. I just decided on the things that were important to me and the things that weren't important to me. I didn't need a fancy cake. I didn't need a professional photographer. I didn't need a fancy venue or a church or anything like that. So we decided that we would have a small wedding at a place in town called the Hitching Post Inn and we would be married by a justice of the peace. I would put together my own little soundtrack, bring my own sound system in. The inn had a catering department and we did heavy hors d'oeuvres all together, not including our rings or the stay at the hotel. We got married for about $1,000. Today's money, that's a little over $1,500. Not bad. <laughs> My grandmother did the flowers for our wedding. I didn't have a wedding party. It was just the spousal union and I. And I had my bouquet preserved and his boutonniere preserved, just like I had the wedding dress preserved. It has gone around the world with us for these last 20 years. I wanted a simple dress. I knew that I wanted something that I could be comfortable in. I wanted something that said today is special, but not the most important day of my life. For me, it's every day after that that's important because I have to recommit every single day to making a life with this person. It was nice to have a dress that said important but not the most important. I spent about $200 on the dress and I spent another $130 on alterations. I know because I found the receipt. <laughs> I have the receipt for the alterations here. I found a pair of what I thought were really cute shoes at a consignment store for $36. And with tax, it came to $38.16. And I wanted shoes that were comfortable. I found these cute little granny boots. The heel was nice and short. Of course, I wanted to wear heels because I'm short. So a short heel, they're white with this lovely little pattern and these ribbon laces. These have held up really well. I just have them in the cardboard box that they came in, and the only discoloration I see is sort of here on the heel. Maybe there's some glue that has just aged badly there, but really they've held up quite nicely. And you know, my grandmother put a fenning in my shoe on my wedding day, and I wonder if I took it out. I think I must have taken it out at some point. I have this little like sachet of change from all around the world. And I wonder if I put it in there. I must have because I don't, it's 
not it's not in the shoes but I mean shoot 30 bucks 20 years ago <laughs> it really can't be that but although the shoes were important to me they weren't the most important thing to me because um, I was just gonna wear them the one time or at least I thought so and honestly I'm not even sure why I had my wedding gown preserved because I've always known that I wasn't going to have children so it wasn't like I was saving it for children so what was I saving it for I don't know maybe sort of that peer pressure of just preserving it for the sake of keeping it. I have considered donating it, especially now that it's been 20 years and the 90s, sort of the late 90s, early 2000s are coming back in trend. I think that it might be a desirable gown for some brides who are into that retro look. Let's go ahead and unbox the dress. Here it is. It looks a little bit like a suitcase, <laughs> which makes it convenient to move around, I guess. I thought I didn't have time to order one in my proper size, so they let the bodice out three inches, and I didn't want to pay to have the beading done. <laughs> so there's a gap here on both sides where the beading didn't match up. And I was okay with that because I'm just a simple girl I didn't need it to go all the way around. People aren't really going to see this part anyway from my arms being down, so it didn't matter to me. The back of the dress is just a simple zipper, no buttons or anything. I remember my mom had to help me zip in, so I wonder if I'm going to be able to zip it up by myself. And then there are two tiny little loops here for the train, which is right here. I actually almost didn't wear the train on my wedding day, but my aunt told me, well, that's really what tells the difference between a special dress and a wedding dress. And I was like, hmm, okay. And there's a loop down here. So that I could carry it if I had decided to do that, which I didn't. <laughs> this is very wrinkly. <laughs> it was not attached to the bottom of the box, so I imagine it's been slipping around inside there for two decades. <laughs> All right, let's try it on. I'm trying on my wedding dress today, just for fun. I don't really expect it to fit. If it does, that's kind of cool. And if it doesn't, well, that's okay too. And I think I've gained this perspective, not just because I've been on this weight loss journey. I don't tie my worth to my weight or my size, but I have another white dress. This little white dress has been with me for about 36 years. I wore it to a lot of different special occasions as a child. I don't expect to ever be able to fit into this dress again, but I keep it as a reminder of my childhood, all the pleasant things that I did while wearing this dress. So trying on my wedding dress today is not just a reminder of my wedding day, but a reminder of all of the steps I've taken since that day beside my husband. Blue, I got the love in Your loving, it thrills me. I don't know. Does it look 
like it'll fit. Feels like it's a big gap. <laughs> Train attached, but it won't zip up all the way. I think if I could get it just a little bit further up, then it will close. Spousal unit used a measuring tape and determined that it's really only about an inch gap in the fabric at the back of the dress. So realistically, I could probably lose that much inches before our 20th wedding anniversary and wear this dress for our anniversary pictures. Should I make this my next goal outfit? like my little blue Athleta outfit was. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Should I try to wear this dress in my 20th wedding anniversary photos? I hope that you're having a great day and that you will have a successful week going forward. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.